have what we would call the line of St. Anthony Street. This home was built in 1955, but once you get inside, you'd never guess it. This seller has taken great care of this property. The living room has had the floors totally refinished and their original floors. It's approximately 17 by 15, and at the end of the living room, you could have a formal dining room, and it's approximately 10 by 12. There is a wood burning fireplace and great views. Now, as we come back towards the front door, there's a nice hall closet, and we will enter into the kitchen. It has been totally upgraded. They have installed beautiful maple cabinets with pull-off shelving. They've updated their floor with dirt ceramic flooring. Upgraded all the, all the appliances. And there's a great view at the end of the kitchen. There's also a door that leads out to the backyard. When we move from the kitchen, we'll go upstairs approximately four steps. Up here, there are three bedrooms and two full bathrooms. As we move upstairs to the bedrooms, you walk through the hallway and you notice the beautiful hardwood floors again. There's also great built-ins. And then in this bedroom, they have a great fan and a nice sized closet. The second bedroom, also has some nice windows and another closet with a lot of shower and hot towel. As we move down the hallway, there's another set of storage closets. And then the totally updated bathroom with a shower tub combination, updated sink, cabinetry, flooring, lighting. As I'm walking in the master, you'll notice this room also has a ceiling fan that's been updated. The wonderful hardwood floors. And also a master bathroom, which is really unusual for 1955. It's been totally updated. It has a walk-in shower, updated cabinet, dark woodwork, updated lighting. Looks great. Now as we move from the bedrooms, we're going to go down to the family room. As we come down from the main floor, down to the family room, just directly off at the bottom of the stairs to the left is a single car garage. This garage is great. Um, it's totally finished with um, drywall. So we can come in from there, and another great part of this house is that it has a huge crawl space. It's approximately 23 by 27. This cellar replaced all the plumbing in this property from a half inch copper line to three quarter inch copper line. The furnace was put in in approximately 1998, so it's newer. It has a new water heater and a newer pressure pump, along with a water softener, and almost all of the electrical has been updated in this home. As we move from the crawl space, we're gonna to come to the lower level family room. This family room has great natural light. It has cork flooring, which keeps it unusually warmer than it normally would be. There's a storage closet off to the right, and there's also a laundry closet for your washer and dryer. At the end of the family room, there's another updated bathroom. This is a half bath, but again, it has nice flooring and um, updated fixtures. There's also a door that leads out to the lower level patio. And here you also have nice recessed lighting. Hi, thanks for touring 1209 St. Andrew Street with me today. If you're looking for a home with lots of character and all the upgrades already taken care of, this home's for you. It's located just off the historic district in Rapid City, South Dakota. If you'd like more information on this home, go to www.csuzanne.com. I'm Suzanne White with Keller Williams of the Black Hills, and thanks for touring with me today.